Fungal magi are monsters found in the polypore dungeon. These days, they are a piece of forgotten content for most players, but they actually have a very nice drop table. And in this video, we'll be looking at how to AFK kill them to get potato cacti and accursed ashes. Why are we interested in these two drops? Well, first, accursed ashes are an essential ingredient in making qualm and irid incense sticks. Qualm incense sticks increases your weapon poison damage to monsters. Using Qualm Incense Sticks greatly improves your DPS in PVM. On the flip side, Irid Incense Sticks can be used to mitigate poison damage done to you when killing bosses that poisons you, such as Gregorovic and Araxor. This saves you from having to either waste a perk slot on Venom Blood or use anti-poison potions. The second drop we are after is Potato Cactus. Potato cacti are used to make super magic potions, which is needed to make overloads. If you PVM, I don't need to tell you how essential overloads are for bossing. Aside from these two, Fungal Maga also drops other useful herbalore resources such as limpid roots, snake grass, and various herbs and seeds. If you are a main watching this, all of these drops are quite valuable and can be sold for a very nice sum of GP. Fungal Magi themselves are a level 80 armor monster with 2900 LP. They deal magic damage and can inflict rapid infection damage between 15 to 17 hit points like other monsters within the Polypore dungeon. Fungal Magi are weak towards wind magic. For this method, you will want a fairly decent magic level, but the magic level itself is not the important part. The main level requirement for this method is 108 Archaeology. At 108 Archaeology, you will have access to the Relic Power Death Note. With Death Note, all bones and ashes dropped as remains will be noted. This Relic Power is what makes farming Fungal Magi so good. It is not really worth farming these without this Relic Power. On screen now is the gear setup I used in the video. Fungal Magi are very weak creatures, so there's a lot of flexibility in what gear you use. For weapons, since Fungal Magi are weak to wind spells, I recommend your best staff. I suggest two-handed staff over dual with wand and orb, because Revolution is much better for two-handed weapons due to the ability Sonic Wave. Compared to the dual wield equivalent, which is Concentrated Blast, Sonic Wave is not a channel ability, Therefore, Revolution don't waste ticks waiting for the ability to finish channeling. For your armor, I suggest you use the best magic armor you own that have a very low upkeep cost. As an example, I have some tier 65 superior scheduled armor from when I was a mid-level Ironman, so I just used both. If you have unaugmented Virtus or Subjugation, feel free to use them. If you're really desperate, you can even resort to using Lunar Armor. I do not think it is worth using augmented armor for this. For jewelry, it is the same case. Use the best amulet you have, which have very low or no upkeep cost at all. I have Dragon Rider amulet as it has decent stats with no upkeep cost. You can use Blood Amulet or Amulet of Fury if you have them. Or if you're desperate, you can downgrade to Amulet of Glory. In the Ring Slot, again, it is the same story. I am using a lot of the dwarves. You can downgrade to Ring of Wealth or any other ring you have that have decent magic bonuses. In my inventory, I have two flasks of Aggro Overload Potion. I have Aggro Overload mainly because I have made all my aggression potions into Aggro Overloads. You can, of course, substitute with aggression potions if you do not have Aggro Overloads. These potions are vital to make the entire experience AFK. If you do not have aggression potions, you can still use this method, but you'll be doing a lot of manual clicking. I do not advise using this method without aggression potions. In my inventory, I also have the Grace of the Elves. I'm using this as a quick teleport to a fairy ring, which is how we're going to get to the Polypore dungeon. You can substitute with Tokozo or any other method to get to a fairy ring. Worst case scenario is to use your home teleport to Edgeville and use the fairy ring by the Edgeville Bank. I have one noted Accursed Ash, one noted Potato Cactus, 
one or two snip grass and one or two pure essence as placeholders, some food just in case, an Excalibur for healing, a herb bag from Herby Werby Weekly to carry all the herbs that the fungal magi drop, and finally some air runes to cast air spells. If you have killed polypore creatures before, you may have used neem oils on polypore creatures. Neem oil weakens polypore creatures and prevents them from doing their infection damage. We will not be bringing neem oils as fungal magi are already very weak, and using neem oil will actually slow our kills down. Aside from all of this, you will want to summon the Lord Hound Pet. The Lord Hound Pet is unlocked from May's Quest Caravan for 25 quest points. You will want to get the 125 quest point loot range unlock as well. This unlock increases your area loot from 7x7 to 9x9 squares when you have the Lore Hound Pet summoned. This will be very useful to make your entire experience that much more AFK. The final thing which I have not touched on is Auras. In this video, I will not be using any Auras to show you that this method works without needing Auras. You are free to use whatever Auras you have. I suggest Vampirism Aura to heal yourself, Marjorat, Dark Magic or Ancestral Spirit Auras to increase your kills per hour. On the screen now is my suggested ability bar. From left to right we have Sunshine, Dragon Breath, Chain, Corruption Blast, Wild Magic, Sonic Wave, Sacrifice, Asphyxiate, Tuskus Wrath and Rack. You can play around with the action bar as you like, but what's important is to have Dragon Breath, Chain and Corruption Blast in front for the AoE damage, as well as having Sacrifice on the bar for some healing. There are quite a few ways to get to the Polypore Dungeon. The two easiest ways, in my opinion, is using Fairy Ring, code BIP, which brings you right outside of the cave, or to use a Dungeoneering Cape, option 0, then 7, to bring you inside the cave. Otherwise, you can look to run to the dungeon from the dig site or Alcarit. While not recommended, I have put the map on screen now for reference. Once inside the dungeon, you want to head down the vines to the next floor down, then head north until you reach this spot circled on the map. There are multiple platforms in the Polypore dungeon that have fungal magi on them. I found this spot to be the best because this spot has 4 fungal magi spawns, while other platforms only have 3. And second, this platform is very far away from infested axe spawns, which gets in the way of you killing fungal magi. You want to stand on this spot here. This spot is in between all four spawns. With the Lorehound Pest summoned, you can area loot all drops without moving. If you do not have the Lorehound Pet, you have to move one square north and one square west to loot the north and west spawns respectively. Once you are at this spot, the rest is very easy. Drink your aggression potion, turn your area loot on, and away you go. All you have to do from here is to space bar to every loot every now and again, and every 6 minutes, drink another dose of aggression potion and use your Excalibur to heal yourself. If you really want to go for the full AFK experience, you can even bring Potion Reservoir to drink your aggression potions for you. From 1 hour of killing Fungal Magi, I have gotten 929 Accursed Ashes, 777 Potato Cacti, 409 Snape Grass, 1,921 pure essences and 102 limpet roots, which is pretty amazing for something that is very AFK. For an Iron Man, you can easily farm enough ashes and potato cacti for a huge amount of PVM with just a handful of aggression potions. For a main player, this is upwards of 8.5 million GP an hour given the current GE price, and it is entirely AFK. This brings me to the end of my guide. As always, a like and subscribe is very appreciated. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments below, and I will see you next time.